what wins the election? Places. The economic issues or the social issues? What wins this election? That's I think it's what it comes down to. I don't know. I don't know if I know well, the answer. The conventional wisdom is the is the economic issues. Oh, I don't know that. No, because I think they. I think Ronnie run away with it if that was true. The number one issue is the economy. No, there's not just economy. That's conventional wisdom. I'm not saying the reality. economy and there's social issues. There's also this this other thing, this zeitgeist thing of personality and comfort and incumbency. There's all of those intangibles that you can't really quantify in numbers. So I think it will be uh, uh, an election on the economy and not social issues. But you can't account for all of the intangibles think, that will I, pull I, someone toward the incumbent. Essie, I can see your mm -hmm. point that you don't want Republicans to go down the path of identity politics. Right. And that's a pretty ugly path, frankly, of sending Americans against one another. But we do know that our, our politicians are micro-targeting. We know that Bush did that in 2000, literally trying to get down to the block of where they, which mailer they should send to which voter, emphasizing which set of issues is going to be the most important to that voter, whether it's a sub suburban mom or a lunch pail union, you know, conservative, social conservative Democrat who might be willing to vote for the Republican. So I think just as a practical matter, you are going to have that targeting and you are going to have Republicans and Democrats pushing different issues with different groups that they think will help them electorally. I, I, I also think that the Scarborough criticism of Romney is, is unfair, and this may not surprise people <laughs> at the table, um, because he's not posing himself as a transformational president. He's not saying, I'm going to radically transform this thing that we call America. He's saying, I'm going to be responsible and efficient. We have this thing called the economy. Most polls say it's the number one issue. You guys may be, or some of you know, may be not the case that that determines the election. But he's not trying to say things that are, that are grandiose. I really liked his line from, from the RNC where he said, I'm promising to help you and your family. That's the kind of campaign that he's trying to run. It's I don't think that makes him not conservative. Gets. I, I think it's as it simple too. as it gets, Essie. I think that that's the core message here. And he's not making all kinds of it's crazy promises. It's not manipulative. It's not. It's honest. honest. Exactly. And it's simple. And it doesn't, you don't mm. need all of this flowery and, and, rhetoric or all of these handouts. For the, for the next two months, they're going to be able to hammer on the fact that real unemployment is 19%. Now, if you add an underemployed and people who drop the labor force, I mean, this is the Obama depression. He can hammer this and say, look, I just want to turn that around on the other things. I'm telling you I'm a conservative, but that's not your primary. I think, um, I think you're right. right. I hope you're right. But I also think what we're talking about is a broader stat strategy for Republicans going forward into the future, decades into the future, and what should be the focus. And I think a lot of people, specifically those at National Review, like Ramesh Panuru, talk about Republicanism as a party didn't really take off until the marriage of economic conservatism and social issues. And that mm -hmm. manifested with Ronald Reagan. Before that, you had guys like Nelson Rockefeller, Gerald Ford, and they were not reliable winners. Until you married those two groups, that's when you became a political powerhouse. So I recognize the weakness in my own argument about libertarianism in California, that social issues have been a huge but political we, you have to you have to, make, you have to make social issues economic issues and tie those tie the implications of both together. That is compelling, I agree. It's not that we bury the social issues, it's that we relate them to economic issues. And I'm sorry, if we cannot win on fiscal responsibility, especially in a time like now, we don't deserve to. We have to, to live and die and by that case. we are not no way around selling it. our message effectively. And we need to find new ways to sell that message. Because if that's why not at the heart of our movement, can't they say, then we, are, we don't know who we are. I agree. Stick with that. But as Rand Paul said, can't they become a little bit more socially tolerant? And then take kind of that middle vote and then they why, win with that. Why should, why, I mean, I, in you know, places it matters, my like personal views aside. Why should I have to ask my 90-year-old grandfather, who is a composite, does not exist, I don't have one, but who... <laughs> He's like Obama's girlfriend. Who, oh, exactly, right. who has lived for 90 years with his views and his values that come either from scripture or somewhere else, just because we want to win more votes. But it wasn't that doesn't Rand make any sense But wasn't Rand but you want to, Your goal is to win the election, though, right? Oh, hold I mean, on. I mean, or just say, you know what? We stand, we stand by what we're doing, but we're never going to win an election anymore because that generation is dying off, unfortunately. The goal is to win an election on conservative policies, not by any means necessary. But you have and to bend a little bit. Trouble. I think things are changing. You have to bend But I, 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 I think don't also bend. we're talking <laughs> past one another. We're talking past one another at a certain level. Nationally, can Mitt Romney be both you know, socially conservative and socially liberal so he can get the Northeast and California and the Midwest and the South? Obviously not. But at the state level, yes. can we get senators from California? Can we get governors from these <clears throat> states, from the Northeast and from Washington State that are less well, absolutely. socially yeah, conservative? Local, yes. local politicians yes. should represent their local constituents. Right. And so there's a difference between state the local presidential elections race will and favor the people that races. speak for mm -hmm. their constituents. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about a national campaign right now. We're talking about 
winning the presidency. And all of these people seem to have different views of how to do it. The irony to me is that I don't think anybody who's been paying attention to Mitt Romney's career would think that he's going to do things that are wildly unpopular, deeply conservative, going to sort of dramatically change uh, America on these social issues. Yeah. He's running as the e economy fixer. He's running as an economics guy. And I think that that makes a lot of sense given the climate right now. So is Joe he's Scarborough not... saying he would have rather had Rick Santorum? He may have been. <laughs> I, no, I, quite honestly, but, but that, that seems... Any, I think you're right. In I think the, that's in what he was Twitter saying. don't make much sense. Right. Romney is not conservative. He's cynical and risk-averse. A real, a real conservative. It I can't put yeah. it together. Risk conversion can be a good let, thing. Let me say this. I think cynicism with Romney is, is, is unfair. I, I really do. I think the Rand Paul analysis is one for statewide, as like, like, like a Amy just suggested. It's one for winning Senate and, and resetting the map. And, and the point is, we've made mistakes in that in the past. We've got Lincoln Chafee and Olympia Snow in places that we think are where we can. When we could be getting people like Rand Paul, is my suggestion, in some of these states. You could get, be getting libertarians, not wishy-washy. Libertarian doesn't mean liberal. <laughs> right. Doesn't mean moderate.